Hey everyone, I love that the mainstream media is largely ignoring this story. There are so many weird layers to it. Asian Canadians that dominate an enclave of the greater Toronto area called Markham devolved into violence during a protest last weekend over the issue of illegal immigration. Yeah, this story is real. To recap, Canada is being swamped with illegal border crossers and thousands are being dispersed across the Toronto area. Now, a Catholic school board which oversees Markham is considering hosting about 5,000 of these illegal immigrants. Many will end up in this basically all Asian suburb, and that sparked a protest, and a counter-protest. Fists were flying. The protesters held up signs reading things like, not in my backyard, and go home, go home, go home. Let's get to some of the irony here. Markham, Ontario has been essentially taken over by Asian immigrants over the past 25 years. Like much of Canada, it used to be majority Anglo. According to Wikipedia stats from 2011, it's 39.7 East Asian, 19.1 South Asian, 3.9 Southeast Asian, and about 3% Black and 3% West Asians or Arab. Look, the white population is 27.5%. If you add up all the different Asian subsets, they have a majority well over 60%. And these stats are seven years old. I'm sure that number is even higher now. Clearly, Markham is not that into diversity. It's trending homogeneous, as in it's clearly becoming an outpost of Asia. And how ironic. Many of them don't want diversity through the refugee system. What are they afraid of? A demographic shift making it majority non-Asian? The protesters apparently chanted in English, we are Canadians, we love Canada. And then look at this line, a woman on a megaphone incited the crowd with a rant in Mandarin. What could be more Canadian than that, right? First off, imagine this happening in a majority white enclave. Think the mainstream media would ignore it? No way. They'd say, look at this in neo-Nazi march by racists. They're driven by pure hatred. But because it's a majority Asian community that doesn't want a bunch of international welfare drifters moving in, it's ignored almost entirely. Even violence didn't make it a big story. Although I do support their plea to not have a bunch of illegal immigrants settling in their town, I certainly don't support their balkanization of Markham. How is that diversity again? Great example of why multiculturalism is a total failure. Having multiple cultures in one country doesn't work. You're not assimilated to Canadian culture if you're speaking Mandarin, living in a majority Chinese town, along with all your Chinese friends, and going to a majority Asian school. That's just an example of a mini China setting up shop in Canada. Isn't the whole point of moving to a Western country like Canada from, say, China is to adopt our values, culture, history, heritage, and language. And of course, if I say I'm against illegal immigration, I'm called a racist and a neo-Nazi because I'm white and pro-Western civilization. But if Asian Canadians say it, hypocritical lefties say nothing. We live in remarkable times. Anyway, here's another story highlighting the utter insanity that the mainstream media won't cover because it doesn't fit their narrative. If you want to see more stories like this, click the subscribe button on my page. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can make a donation through Patreon. There's a link below. Special thanks to those already supporting this channel. Your dollars go a long way. Have a great day.